Scientific theory. Okay. So. We will begin moving this back. We'll bulb this artist and then we can replace it for the worker. This is done next turn, so we're okay. We'll pop that. And let's see if we can um, explore a bit more down the Americas. We're growing Casablanca. That's nice. We're going to take one more bit of food in the wine before we go straight production there. But unfortunately, it's going to continue to be a pretty terrible city. Um, I would like to keep influence up in Bogota for the culture. So I'm going to go put this there as well. I know I've got other city states to concentrate on, but culture is really quite valuable. And I guess our way in for an ideology is going to be electricity, so we'll go for that. We've got schools, so we can stop doing these pre-builds. Schools are a bit slow, but not the worst thing in the world. Um, I mean, guess this is only a one-turn delay. I guess I'll finish the Grand Temple because we'll get a lot of benefit from that. And yes, I can afford to do this one, and I cannot afford to do this one, otherwise we might get our capital converted. That's Golden Age. And we're about in three turns, I'll make it work some production. This is so obnoxious from Egypt. This is unreal. Yeah, like it's approaching Fez. Oh! Can't get there fast enough. That lumber mill is a really good tile now. Okay. F. There we go. Okay. I think our cities have got a full surround again. I guess no one seems to be on Australia. Marrakesh grew. Right. Musicians Guild. That's what we wanted, wasn't it? Uh, Musicians Guild. And we'll continue to work the gold because we're in a golden age. Does this bring us down the growth? It does. That's fine. Um, I mean, we could do this. Seems good. More gold. Free thought would be very nice right about now. And we actually got 105 culture per turn now. So, we'll wait to the end of the Golden Age and we'll push both writers out. And that will get us through to, three, to free thought. And that will set us up in a great position. Now, we're actually kind of second here. So, I guess we make... Ourselves. We just vote for ourselves right now. We can't really do a lot for ourselves, but yeah. We're going to need to build some units actually in a minute. Because we need to be able to resist this. So, let's bear that in mind. Vatican wants Protestantism to become their religion again. we got a Grand Temple up though, that's good. And our schools aren't taking that long. Okay, so let's go have a hunt around. Did, some, did one of the AIs get killed or something? Or is perhaps someone else also in North America or South America? I guess we'll find out soon. Keep going to Marrakesh. Yeah, so I got seven votes, so that's good. Um, good, the profits are turning away. But I see one. He looks like he might want Casablanca, but that is why we saved the extra shot. Got plenty of faith. Which means we can engineer statue. Um, I don't suppose you'll do the one for one. Of course not. We do that. Do you still value horses? He doesn't. Gold. Two. Three. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we're only 5% behind Babylon in science now. So that's going really well. We are summarily last in soldiers. But I don't feel like we're going to get a ward on. Don't know. Should probably be careful of that though. So we got horses to shack and horses to ram ended. We are still friends with ram. Let's send him two for 74. And we've grown in Rabat. And so now we can just start working for hammers, I guess. We get these scores down. I mean, actually, that's still six. So why not just keep the growth rate up? We're not too... I mean, we are a bit stressed for production, I guess. But if it's always still six turns, it's still six turns. I can't move any of my units right now thanks to these obnoxious profits. Defensible city. Mountain. Yeah, I want to improve that tile, but it just can't be done. And I did mean to move this across. That was a bit of an error. But we're okay. And um, this just three food is a bit rubbish. Let's do that. More gold, I guess. Okay. We'll just continue moving through schools. We must remember to bulb our 
right as soon, which means we're going to need units to block. And let's make sure the writers aren't the frontline blockers. I mean, we could probably do with the getting a war declared now, actually. Now I think about it. We could really use a war right about now between Babylon and Egypt, ideally, but... And we could 26 GPT. Oh my god. Yeah, so we can't get a war between Babylon and Egypt, but... Will Babylon by any chance go after Germany? Austria, 37 GPT. Jax, no, Monty. Oh yeah, Spain got eliminated from the game, that's why I haven't met all eight. Um, okay, so there's not really a lot there. But if we could get Shax to go to war with Ram for 7 GPT in copper, that's not bad. Let's see how much it is the Ram way round to go to war with Shax. 12 GPT, which I believe is cheaper. So I would like this war right now. Okay. So it cost us 14 gold. That's not what we wanted, but it's what we got. Um, and I could do with a war probably someone against Babylon. So there's 11 GPT and wine. Who else can we do? I don't want to pay too much for this one, but it might need to be done. 44 gold per turn. So I think the one is going to be Germany against Babylon. And I would just like to distract. I mean, that's going to be like 18 gold per turn. But let's pay for that. It's pretty bad to be doing this right now. But like, I mean, 20 gold per turn is what? 21 and open borders. No, that's just too much. I'm not entirely sure Babylon wants to war me right now. Keep sending food to Marrakesh. If we can't find some more city states in the island somewhere. Yeah, I'm not sure Babylon wants to war me right now. So I don't think I need to do that. Um, a couple of turns before I do my writers. So let's just have a reorganize. Let's wait these guys up. And what we'll do is we'll get the writers kind of in the front line for city blocking. Oh, no, the workers in the front line for city blocking and the writers in the rear. Just so that they're not immediately exposed by accident to Egypt's profits. Let's move on. So just a couple more turns now for when our golden age ends and we'll drop these writers. Although if they're worth anywhere near 500, we can drop them whenever we want because that means that we've got our five turns worth. Hong Kong since the new natural wonder, we can definitely go for that. We generated our musician. So maybe we had a quest for that. Marble and spices with ram ends. Now there was a city state which wanted me to connect spices. So I'll wait one turn and then just send that out again. We'll take humanism. And these guys are worth 471, so it is worth waiting the extra turn. And in actual fact, we got this musician as a blocker. I don't know where this natural wonder is going to be. There's so much ocean. Um, but that's good. This musician can act as a trusty blocker until we can use it. Okay, so that deal ended. So we need to wait one turn so we can get the city state quest. And then we'll just send it straight back out again. Uh, we can keep growing in seven now. Is, actually, is this seven? This seven. Let's do that. Okay. Now in the capital, we do need to progress towards. So we're going to get electricity in two. We want to push for radio. So let's take Oxford. And then we'll push for the Hermitage. Um, and then we finished the school. So we need to work the slot. Uh, now where's best? I don't really want to take this off. But I think we'll move the workshop across. We're working so many specialists. I'm kind of happy for that. In Bogota, we still got 39. We've only got 35 to go past Germany. And we're actually going to get a rig soon, so that will set us up in a really great position. And we're going to continue to maintain our alliance with Prague. The good thing about rigging in the friendly Prague is that we're actually going to be gaining influence. So yes, absolutely, Ram. Let's trade that away now, now that we've completed our quest. Or did I need to wait for the city-state turn? Don't know. I, uh, I really hope I haven't screwed this one up again. I think I have, you know. I think I've screwed it up again. Do I really have to wait two turns for that? I guess so. Well, I guess we'll save it for a time when I actually have the capacity to go act on that influence. Okay, so our golden age ended. Um, so we're down to a relatively normal amount of GPT. Just check we don't have any more school slots to fill, and we don't. 
Uh, our science battalion is 350 right now. That feels pretty good because we've only got one school up. Uh, we are gold age ended. So we can go push these writers out for 493. And take free thought. And that's going to be really, really powerful. So now we are at kind of good science. So what we can do right now is if we need to, we can bowl the scientist anytime we want and hopefully not lose science from it. Now, one thing I did want to check, actually, is what this scientist counter is. So we're currently 206 and a half. And we spawned three scientists so far. So that would have mean that we got one at 67, one at 134, and one at... Yeah, okay. So I'm just trying to work out how many great person points it is per sort of great person. So right now, we've worked out that we're actually at 60 each. Um, the, the counter goes up 67 each time, and that's something to know. And it's really important because... Um, if we and I'll try and do the maths in a separate video about kind of what it takes to get certain amounts of scientists out um, but basically we kind of just need to know so that you know I can look at this right now and if I know that my opponent you know if I'm playing multiplayer say my opponent's got 268 on the scientist counter I know that they've only generated three scientists and engineers which is really helpful and so we're moving along with these scientists quite fast which I'm very happy about we need to start thinking about happiness soon, but perhaps we can ally some city-states. Mogadishu only wants a trade route. Vatican wants my religion, but that's just not going to happen. Ivory would be nice to get, but it appears I can't get it, unless Budapest has ivory, which it doesn't. But someone does. These guys do. Bogota has ivory. So if I go and buy out allies with Bogota, and I don't want to waste all of this influence I've got, if I buy out allies with Bogota, that will push me forwards with Byblos. And then I could perhaps do something about that. So I'm willing to spend my 250 to buy out Bogota. Someone's got an ideology, but sorry, this is caused a divide between us. That's German order. That's okay. I would like freedom myself. And I think we've got the city state allies to handle it. We haven't even built zoos yet. So I'm going to try for freedom if at all possible. And I want to try for freedom because you get such great value in universal suffrage. It's Egypt. Egypt is allied with Prague, but we're now allies with Byblos. That's fine. We keep moving through South America. That's nice land. Okay. Marrakesh grew. That will be, I guess, our workshop slot. Yeah, you get lots of value from working specialists for freedom, and we're working them all right now. Oh, Rabat is on aluminium. Result. Okay, so that's good. So we can get two hydro plant cities as well, which is absolutely amazing. We'll go for radio. And we'll go get industrialization. And let's just think see if we need to declare any wars. But I think we're kind of good. We paid for the one with Babylon, so... No, didn't we? Or didn't we? Germany and Babylon? No, I don't think we paid for that. Did we not pay for it in the end, or did we pay for it and they already made peace? Let's check the deal history now. Deals with Germany. Oh, no, I don't think I did pay for a war, did I? I don't think I wanted to give up that much. Okay, um, we finished the school here, but as I said, I've not really been working specialists because the city is pretty terrible. We'll work the specialists once we get statue if we go freedom. But we'll definitely be working the specialists in here. We'll definitely be working the specialists in Rabat when we get the chance. So we've been overtaken in Prague by Egypt. There are only seven influence ahead, so we'll just leave that for the next city-state rig. There's no need to get hasty about it. I actually have the culture lead. So if it looks like I'm going to lose the culture lead, I might actually try something but i don't need to get hasty right now so let's push into modern era with oxford did i did i just spot something no it's just aluminium okay and i'll continue moving through south america our borders of marrakesh actually grew to some more aluminium uh we don't seem to be at profit we are at profit risk right now yeah, I need I need that like one or two cheap units just to make sure I'm not at profit risk. So what I'll do is I'll grab a pike. Maybe I'll grab two pikes. Just so that we're not at risk of that. Because that's crazy. In Casablanca group, that's great. Um, so we're kind of maxing out in Casablanca right now. But we'll let the 12 turn growth get through and we'll go for this production. And we've got this spy. So what can we do with it? Bogota we're in, Wittenberg is good, Eif is good, Ormus is good. We can affect those. So we probably either want to go after Byblos, but that's a long way away. Or perhaps after Mogadishu, which is a lot closer. So let's drop this spy in Mogadishu. That's Bogota. 
Mogadishu. Okay. I'm going to drop that in Mogadishu. Um, I could do with getting Babylon to go to war with someone, anyone. So I wonder if I pay for this deal now. Um, I mean, I would rather neighbours go to war, but... Germany, will you do it? Yeah, you would still do it, and it's not too bad a price, actually. We can afford to give away our aluminium right now, so it's good that we got that. Um, but let's see if it's not cheaper to send Babylon back the other way, or Babylon towards Ram. Babylon will go to Ram. For all of my gold per turn. So, yeah. I what we do. Perhaps I cheese away all of my aluminium. The Bismarck. And maybe that will give me enough gold to sell gold somewhere else. We'll probably get a little bit more value from that. So maybe I can cheese all my aluminium to Babylon and then pay money back. So let's do that. Let's be a bit cheesy. And we can get those three aluminium that our city borders have just expanded to. And we have all of this stuff back in time. For the spaceship if we need it. So that's fine. So we've just cheesed that away. Can't really afford to sell anything else. So how much is it this way round? 11 GPT and wine. And how much is it this way round? Oh, he doesn't actually see a way of making it work anymore. Uh, I can't get Egypt to do it again, can I? No, okay. So Germany is 11 GPT and wine, which is going to be... Let's check I'm not getting wine from a city-state. Resources imported. Doesn't look like we're importing wine, we're actually importing dyes. Yeah, I don't think we're getting wine from a city, can we? There's dyes again. That's all dyes, I guess dyes must be one of these city-state resources. Yeah, so we can't really sell the wine. So it's going to have to be big gold. It looks like about 22 or something. Yeah, okay. For that war, which is going to really hurt our gold per turn. But I wanted to get that going now. And then we'll move for this aluminium in a bit. As soon as this... Actually, we can move for the aluminium now. Because the pikeman comes out next turn and we can garrison this spot. We got any? We have, no, we haven't finished an opera house yet, but we do soon. I don't know if I want to put the musician in because it's being very useful as a blocker to me. Let's see if he tries it with his profit. Oh, okay. Well, at least my RA is still out. Egypt denounced me, huh? Does he, does he design my lands now or something? He backstabbed Morocco and has denounced me. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. Yeah, look, that profit has come moving out. That's really obnoxious. But we've got this pike. And we can go get some new aluminium. And let's go and take freedom. So if we can't make it work, we'll take avant guard for the great people and specialists consume half food. We've got this opera house now. Um, we'll get a market because our gold return is really shaky. And let's see if we can't find more national wonder natural wonders or something. So our happiness is a bit on shaky grounds. And we've lost a deal with Montezuma, which is probably part of it. Uh, so let's see if we can get this back. Does he still want horses? He does. Still want gold? He does. Okay. So let's do that. And we can try and grab another alliance with a city-state somewhere in order to continue pushing along. That's really obnoxious. Let's just go there just in case he sees it. We can try and use our our pikes to do whatever we need them to do. I would love to bowl with this artist for a golden age when we hit industrialization. I just don't know if we can. Now we've got schools and free thought up so we can afford to bulb. We've had them up for a while right? But let's just count let's say T130 if we want to go for a bulb. And Egypt come on. Does really want this copper? I'm going to hold on to it. Let's just make sure we don't do something stupid. Because again, we're selling it for money. We're not trading it for duplexes. 